The rain made this week's filming a challenge, so today I decided to do some rope work and yielding with Dakota. What we're looking for here is crossing over of the front legs and or hind legs. That's a true yield. When a horse sidesteps in the direction you're asking them to go, they're not really yielding, they just happen to be going in the direction you're suggesting. But Dakota is doing very well in yielding both his front end and his hind end. I wanted Dakota to get more comfortable with his face being touched by both my hand and the rope. This will prepare him for work with a halter. A horse's face is a very sensitive area. They're not naturally inclined to let their face be touched or handled with a rope. As Dakota becomes more accepting of the rope on his face, I want him also to become accepting of my hands up by the top of his head and his ears, another vulnerable spot on a horse. Dakota was in a cuddly mood that day, so I indulged him, of course. now for work with Aries. I had discovered about midweek that our sniff and retreat game had given him a little bit too much control and he is one of those horses that when given control will certainly take it. A head gesture that had started out innocently enough had turned into a threat. Aries was trying to tell me to go away and because of the game we had played, he felt it was his place to do so. Since head tossing wasn't working, Aries decided to try a different tactic. He presented his butt to me and threatened to kick. Every time Aries turned his butt towards me, I did give him a correction, though it needed to be much stronger than this. The day ended quietly enough, but I was going to have to talk to a Mustang trainer friend of mine to see how I was going to fix the habit I had created. Today was going to be about movement. One way horses show dominance over one another is through movement. If I can get you to move, then I have more power than you do. Licking and chewing has been linked to processing information for horses. It's always a good sign when they lick and chew.
My goal here was to have Dakota move off when I asked him to and stop when I asked him to. But specifically, I want him to stop and face me. Whenever he attempts to face me, I draw back, hoping it will draw him in. When horses are trying to figure out what you want, they start by guessing. They will offer up what they think you are asking for. Eventually, they will do what you want, and you must immediately reward that. However, that doesn't mean they've learned it. They have to guess the right answer several times before they put it together that the same answer is getting the reward. The corpus callosum, the tissue connecting each hemisphere of the brain, is rather thin in horses. This means that the two hemispheres of the brain don't talk that much. So whatever you teach them on one side, you will have to teach them on the other. As he progresses in his training, Dakota will require less and less repetition for both sides, so the training process does get faster. Here I slow my approach to see if he is willing to turn his head in. Since he isn't, I ask him to move on again. Since Dakota is back to guessing what I want, the moment he turns his head in, I release. And now to correct Aries' bad habit. By walking towards him, I am telling him, I am taking the space you are currently in. Move. He gives the space nicely. Whenever he turns towards me, I release the pressure. Between asking him to move, I offer Aries the pole. I want him to reach out and sniff it. When he does, I release but I control the encounter. I offer first. That was the mistake I made last week. I allowed him to have too much control over our interaction. As I ask him to move away, he turns his butt towards me, which I tell him is not an acceptable answer. He was quite shocked at my behavior, but I think he understood it quickly and began to respect it. He only offered his hind end once. I am not doing anything to him that another stallion putting him in his place wouldn't be doing. I want Aries to choose to be still and with me. So whenever he offers to move, I agree with him and ask him to keep moving until he decides he wants to stop and then I agree with him and ask him to stop. This is much more quiet and thoughtful movement. He is respecting my request, but not panicking about it. He also turns to face me upon stopping, only with his head so far, but the rest of his body will come with time and repetition.
I step out of the pen for a moment to go check on my dog. I am pleased to see he spent the time licking and chewing. As usual, Aries is a very fast learner. It's very important that I give Aries plenty of release time. The more times I can tell him he has the right answer, the faster he will learn. The timing of releases is crucial. They must be given immediately or the horse has no way of knowing what behavior they are being rewarded for. Here I want to reward his reach for sniffing at the pole. As soon as he does it, I release. Just like Dakota, it's important that Aries learns to move off, stop, and turn from both sides. His final act of the day was a very quiet, sensitive sniff at the pole. Mm -hmm.